guys it's me I'm back I'm just doing something quick and short and messing around and now oh, let me take the glasses off we're getting glare from here to there again da, da, da. let's see let's drop that that should help some alrighty I keep talking about going bargain hunting and making sure that you're actually looking at what you're getting as much as possible before you get it. Sometimes you can't. Now, one of the things that I'm going to show you, this palette is gorgeous, okay? It really is. It's beautiful. See that? All kinds of bright, pretty colors. Except for one problem. I got this off of Amazon. And the reason I got it was because it was listed for four bucks. $3.99. And it was on Prime. Prime shipping. All of that. Now, when it got here, because it came in a regular um, blue and white Amazon envelope with the minimal cushion stuff in it. The yellow up here was busted to heck. It was just all kinds of busted up. I took a little alcohol and pressed as much back in as I had left to work with and then cleaned up palette. But, yeah, and see, that yellow, that's what's in the inside corner on both my eyes. It's, let me just rub that a little bit. It's not a dense color. It's very pigmented, but it's really sheer. All of them they're gorgeous but they are absolutely sheer now see I had originally ordered this for part of the Mardi Gras things that we that you know I've been working on and I was going oh look purple green and gold right here in this little palette And this is the orange. This is that really bright orange. It's hard as heck to see. If you don't put these over top of other shadows, you don't see much of anything at all. That's it. Now, what I thought I was getting was one thing. So I spent my $4. I put my little $4 in and, and this came on Prime, so it only took a few days. And still, it didn't get here till after we did the... Uh, Mardi Gras collab and I'm just as happy that it didn't get here until after because I'd have fought with this trying to use this for that collab and arguing with these really gorgeous but weird to work with colors 
in the meantime, went to the drugstore to pick up some actual medication and not just hit the makeup aisle. And our Rite Aid had one of the e.l.f. palettes. This is the Mad for Matte Jewel Tones. And I absolutely love them. Now, when I was doing the first version for, of Mardi Gras, because I've got another one on today. So pretty. And this is that's a combo of using this green, this purple, and then that gold in the corner. But I put the green and purple from that topper shadow on top of the mattes that I used out of this. So, you know, the thing is, though, this is another one of those bargain things, but it's, it's I ran into it without expecting to. Because normally these palettes from Elf are about 10 bucks. The Rite Aid had this one for four. And I went, happy day, happy day, happy day. And picked it up and went on about my business. Now, I lucked in to the Elf palette. The topper palette, which is called, um, the cosmetic company is TZ Cosmetics, spelled with an X at the end. And this is the San Santorini eyeshadow quad. Like I said, I picked it up from Amazon, and I will probably have it linked below, just in case you're interested. Now, the other thing that I've been doing while trying to stay on a budget is I check all of the the um, cosmetic sales companies and look for their seasonal sales or just general flyers or whatever and shop hush started their spring clearance where everything everything is 50 percent off even if it's already on a markdown so what would have been probably close to um, 35 40 bucks for some pallets turned into $14 and change. I got the Bad Habit Aura palette. Now I'm going to flip it upside down so I don't blind you with the mirror. That is a pretty thing. It was already on sale. Take an extra 50% off. I was a happy woman. The next one I got from there is Face Candy Amazonia. And again, I'm going to do the upside down flip so I don't blind you with the mirror. Now, see, it says Amazonia, and I'm thinking jungle, and my husband was looking at it, and he was thinking jungle, and he's going, what the heck? There's only one green. It's kind of like people were saying about the, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Riviera palette. There's like one blue. I don't get it. I mean, Riviera, you're going to be thinking about the ocean and being out on the beach, and I'm going, one blue? Uh, let's try again. The last piece I got out of the Shop Hush 
haul. And like I said, I, less than 15 bucks. I was thrilled. And that includes the shipping stuff. Okay. I got the Face Candy Sugar Palette. Which comes in one of the tins. And yes, it's got a mirror in it. So I'm going to be flipping it upside down. So I put my fingers over it. But it's a gorgeous thing. It really is. It's a very pretty palette. But with it being already on sale and then with the spring clearance thing it was very interesting i got those three really nice palettes for less than 15 bucks and i'm thrilled now i'm still not sure what's going on with hush um their stock is selling out and I mean selling it. There's a lot of the stock showing as sold out. A lot of the order stuff that I'm seeing. The um, spot where you can cancel your order has been blocked. I don't know exactly what's going on. I mean my order sat for quite some time on the confirmed um, spot in the order system and then eventually they finally got around to doing the pick and pull but it was took quite a bit longer than I had been expecting so I mean you know because when you order they put a temporary hold on your credit card and all this stuff and by the time they finally got around to pulling my order and getting it ready to ship, the hold on the credit card was already off. And usually most companies have pulled everything and started completing before that hold drops off. So I'm, I'm just wondering how much they're cutting back and whether or not they're having a little difficulty which would be a really big bummer because I love going there looking for some of the less expensive versions of some of the palettes I like yes I know that's a controversy about you know duping and all this other stuff and I'm going look I wouldn't have been buying the other palette to begin with I can't afford the big name palettes the ones that I go after are the ones that do not claim to be an exact dupe of whatever. They don't try and, and copy names. They don't try and sell it as, you know, you know, compared to, you know, like those nasty little perfumes you can find in the discount stores and they're like, they name it this, but they say, here, go compare to white diamonds and that kind of thing. And I'm not interested in the copycat line because they, they're just really rudely blatant. Yeah, Beauty Creations and Huda Beauty have had some fights back and forth and that happens. And But I would not have been buying... Anastasia or Jeffree Star or any of these other big name palettes anyway I don't have that kind of money so I look for the palettes that have a similar theme for the color story and I already know they're not going to be identical and I get that and I'm not worried about it being identical. I just want it to be as close as I can afford to get. So it doesn't bother me to have some... It's like I don't even know which ones 
these are supposed to be duping. I'm pretty sure this is a two-face of some sort since they like to do stuff in tins. But I don't know which one in particular. I just looked at the color stories for these palettes and said, yeah, all right, I'll take it. I do not advocate for people to just go running off and just buy dupes. If you want and can afford a name designer palette, go for it. I mean, some, I've talked to people that use this stuff and they love the formulas. They are incredible. Now, I'm going to get to look at some of that kind of thing because a friend of mine is moving and she's been cleaning out her backups and that kind of stuff and stuff that she's just decluttering and we know each other well enough that I don't mind taking you know some powder eyeshadow and stuff from her my shirt is trying to get away because you see I know she's she's clean and she's careful and all this other stuff and I know she doesn't have like you know eye cooties and all that so, and she very often has the high dollar palettes. So, some of the stuff that's coming is going to be, you know, backups of high dollar palettes. So, I'm going to get to play with some of them. And this is the ultimate bargain. I mean, having a friend who's getting ready to declutter their stuff and being willing to take it. All right. I can live with that. <laughs> But, you know, it still doesn't mean, even if I really love the high dollar stuff, I'm not going to go out looking for it. I still can't afford it. So, yeah, I will very gratefully use what she's sending me. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop my bargain hunting. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop, you know, looking, looking for my, my low dollar fill-ins. I will just make do. I am grateful for her sending some of the stuff my way. I'm thrilled. And we will see what kind of looks I can come up with once that arrives. But in the meantime, I've got new toys to play with. And I've got nifty new palettes to play with which I means I can do some of the stuff like the the three looks one palette and um you know palette bingo or something like that with a palette that actually has things like color names and because most of mine are, are not really color name palettes I've also discovered as I went through some of my stuff that I've been collecting since I started doing this that I now have enough of two brands to do a whole face of a brand. I've got Wet n Wild and I've got Elf. That's it. Just the two. But I'm going to be doing that as well. Anyway, y'all have a good time wherever you are. If you're going to be celebrating Mardi Gras, Les Ebontons Roulés, I can't even talk today. Les Ebontons Roulés. And get your purple, green, and gold on. Be good. <laughs>